Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. P again, back with chapter five of Amelia Bedelia and Friends Beat the Clock. 2B, chapter five, cracked up to be. That night after her homework, Amelia Bedelia and her parents sat down to supper. It looked delicious as always. Amelia Bedelia knew that the news of her day would change her life. She was savoring the feeling of anticipation, making sure she would be able to remember what their lives were like before the time capsule. Anything earth-shattering happened in school today? asked her father. The earth was okay, said Amelia Bedelia. It was a glass-shattering day. And then she told them about the Roman numerals taking XXVII, the attendance report to the office, Mrs. Roman sides, Mr. Jack moving the framed photograph, watching it but not watching it, the picture dropping and the glass shattering, discovering a note from 100 years ago, and then announcing that news to the whole school and becoming a celebrity. Amelia Bedelia was halfway through her story when she noticed that her parents had stopped eating. They were leaning towards her, their eyes wide, listening as hard as they could. And when she finished, Amelia Bedelia took her first bite of lasagna. Delicious, Mom, said Amelia Bedelia. Her parents were still stunned by her story. They looked at each other, and then they looked back at her. All that went on before lunch, sweetie, said her mother. Her mother. Every bit. The afternoon was much calmer, said Amelia Bedelia. Well, thank goodness, if I'd gone through all that, I would have come home for a nap, said her father. Wow, that's incredible. What's next, asked her mother. Ms. Hotchkiss wants to dig up the time capsule, said Amelia Bedelia. She wants to display it at our centennial celebration. What fun, said her mother. That would be a huge feather in her cap. Amelia Bedelia thought that getting to see Miss Hotchkiss wearing a cap with an enormous feather in it was even more reason to find that time capsule. When they find it, it will be interesting to see what the teachers and students in 1920 put inside to share with the teachers and students in 2020, said her mother. There are time ca capsules in existence that won't be open for thousands of years, said her father. Thousands of years, said Amelia Bedelia. Nothing lasts that long. Who's going to remember where they buried it? Well, when explorers discover an ancient tomb, like those in Egypt, it's sort of a time capsule. Sometimes they find jewelry and furniture and scrolls along with combs and mirrors and games and other stuff. Since those things are more than 4,000 years old, a tomb can be a time capsule of sorts. Amelia Bedelia shook her head. I can't imagine waiting 4,000 years for something. Christmas comes once a year, but it feels like it takes forever to get here. Grandma says that Christmas comes quicker for her every year, which, that's weird. Eh, time is relative, said her, said her mother. A relative like Grandma, asked M Amelia Bedelia. No, sweetie, said her father. Relative like compared to something else. Grandma has seen way more Christmases than you. No matter what age you are, there are always 365 days between Christmases every year. But as you get older, it sometimes feels as though it comes sooner and sooner, and when you're younger, it feels like it takes forever. Sooner or later, the future is coming, ready or not, says her mother. When it comes to the future, there's only one thing you can be sure of. It never turns out quite like they say it will, said her father. According to the magazines I read when I was your age, we should all we should have a small helicopter in our driveway instead of a car. Flying to school in a helicopter? Cool, said Amelia Bedelia. And you, continued her dad, would be zooming around with your jetpack instead of riding your bike. Hey, can I get one for my birthday, asked Amelia Bedelia, even though that day felt like it was really a long time away. Sure, right after I get my helicopter, said her father. 
I can remember scientists saying that no one would have to cook anymore, said her mother. A whole meal would be contained in one tiny pill. That does not sound delicious at all, said Amelia Bedelia. That's probably why it never caught on, said her father, standing up to clear the table. The only good thing about taking a pill instead of cooking and eating is not having any dishes to do. Amelia Bedelia joined her father at the sink, drying while what he washed. Then we'd have more time to race around with our jetpack, she said. And that brings us to chapter six, and we're going to stop right here next week.